You know our first guest from hosting hit shows like Nailed It and Wipe Out. She's all, she also starred in the NBC Red Crew. Please welcome the very funny Nicole Boyer. We want to have a little fun. Would you, would you like to do a, a brain teaser with them together? Sure. Okay, let's see. Now, okay. listen, where, where is that? Look, right here. This is tricky right okay. here, y'all. Okay, so you say the color, mm -hmm. not the word. Yes. My brain is still processing that. Can you handle that? I can, because I love games, and I came to win. <laughs> okay, come on, Nicole. Let's see what you got. Okay. I may try it too, but okay. it's gonna take me a little longer. Red, yellow, uh, green, purple, blue, black, orange, brown. You're good! <laughs> I told you, I, I like to win. I'm very competitive. Like, you know when you get an eye exam, I'm like competitive with myself. I'm like, yeah, that's blurry, this is not. Uh, give me these glasses. <laughs> You're good, because I'm struggling. I can't even begin. But you know what? You're also great at being on the red carpet. You killed it at the Golden Globes, Thank young lady. You. We see you. you so much. That Send me that look. Isn't it beautiful? It's so beautiful. Oh You're beautiful. God. Thank you. You really are. I mean, that's three hours of hair and makeup. I'm like a crusty little goblin, and then, <laughs> you know, they come in, they do my hair, my makeup, and then I'm like a beautiful swan. Oh, do you like getting dressed up? I love it. Yeah. I love the transformation. Like, truly, the before and after is astounding. Mm. Like, I'm bald headed, I got my little acne scars, you know, I ain't got no. And then they, you know, put a padded bra on, and it's like, who is she? <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh my God. Do you, do you usually go to the after parties? Okay, so I go to the after parties, but there's never anybody like who I want to be there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, you know, you're trying to like, you know, meet people and be like, hi, how are you? You're so funny, so fabulous. Do you want to date me? <laughs> like, you know, and it's never the right people. Okay. D does that make you say, I'm going home now? I'll stay for a little bit because the, the booze is free. And <laughs> free is my favorite price. So <laughs> I'll, I'll stay for a little bit, get my fill, and then, you know, roll around in the car home. Now, we got something coming. We both love some Steve Harvey oh. and some Family Feud. Oh. But you've been on there. I have been on Family Feud. Fast money is harder than you think. Is it? There's, I mean, there's cameras on you, and you have to, like, come up with stuff. Okay. One of the questions was, when I say cheese, you say, I said, big. And Steve Harvey was like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> because they were looking for, like, cheddar or Munster, like, cheeses. But I was thinking, like, big cheese in charge. <laughs> <laughs> like, a real idiot. But, like, uh, we still won. So, you still won. Yeah, That's I didn't do too thing. terrible. But truly, no one else said big when they said cheese. It was a big old zero. <laughs> yeah. I got to do his show before it ended, and that was also really yes. fun. I was talking about something. There was like two women in the audience who didn't like me at all. I think I was talking about my tattoos on my butt, and they were very like frowny about it. And then Steve was like, hold on one second, and then like walked up to the ladies and was like, you don't like her. She's leaving soon. You don't have to worry. It was so funny. Yes. And they didn't leave it in the episode, but like he is so effortlessly funny. I love Steve. I love Ugh. him too. Ugh. I can't wait to get to Family Feud. Ugh. Just like I love you. him. Okay. You have to do it. Ask to do it. That's my goal. Just ask to do it. You're Jennifer Hudson. Did you forget? <laughs> you, no, but you're you're, you got winner. You have awards on awards. Steve, you hear that? Yeah. Tell Steve Harvey. And I'm going to win too. And the fast money round. <laughs> Girl, you into pole dancing? I love pole dancing. You do? Oh, I love it. Oh my There's God. nothing I love more than like a strip club with like yes. acrobatics. Oh, yep, there she is. Uh -huh. Moving real slow around that pole. <laughs> I wish I could walk faster in the heels, but it's so hard. It's all this body to move with it. Ooh, you that's... moving it though. <laughs> Did you teach yourself that? Like, how did you learn? Um, I go to this studio in North Hollywood called Luscious Maven, and uh, my teacher is this woman named Veronica. And Veronica will be like, let me figure out how this works for your body. And that was the first time that that's ever happened with, like, exercise for me. And I could climb up a pole. I think that's pretty impressive. That's Thank amazing. You. <laughs> so do you have a pole in your house? Oh, yes, I have a pole in my house. It's in my office, ironically enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> So it's like, I get tired of working, just swing around the pole. Oh my goodness. 
That is awesome. I'm not that strong. I'd be on that You float. could do it. No, you I can't. You absolutely could. You think I could? I believe in you. Anyone truly can pole dance. Do we bring out the pole? No, I'm kidding. There's Girl. no pole. <laughs> what? No, yeah. Ain't no poles up in here. This is the happy place. So yeah. <laughs> You tried to give me. Okay. <laughs> Imagine daytime television. Oh my like, God. Come on, take it off. Oh my God. <laughs> but I'd be the fool to try it. But y'all would have to pick me up off the floor. Would you do it? Okay. Now you host four podcasts, mm -hmm. and one is about dating. Yes. Oh my god. It's goodness. called "Why Won't You Date Me," and it started off with me interviewing people I'd like hooked up with. Mm -hmm. um, and as the show has gone on, people will stop agreeing to do that. Um, so now I just interview. <laughs> now I just interview a lot of like comedians and um, actors and just people I like, and I'm on a quest to figure out like why I'm still single. What is love about? I've done the show for five years, and truly, I don't know why I'm single, mm -hmm. other than I guess I'm a little too loud for men. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been out there dating, like, how is it going? Okay, it's going, it's going pretty bad. Um, uh, it's bad. I don't wish dating on my worst enemy. <laughs> it is terrible. Um, yeah, it's just going bad, so I deactivated Tinder and Bumble and Raya and Hinge and OkCupid and Field <laughs> and all of them. I was on all of them, and I said, goodbye for now, let's work <laughs> on my soul. So I'm in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I love you. Oh, my God. Who was your first celebrity crush? My very first celebrity crush was Vin Diesel. Mm. I, oh. I would cut, oh my God, that bald head, I would take a ride. But I used to like cut out pictures of Vin Diesel and just like make a collage at my desk. So like when I was doing my homework, I'd be like, oh, Vin. <laughs> I just, oh, I love him. There's something, okay, currently I still love him. There's something about him just being like, I love family with like that like growly voice. I just love it. And have you met him? No. No? I wish. Oh. I wish. Oh my God, is he here? Bring out Vin Diesel! She's a ball man, Vin Diesel. But then you gotta come through. She want to meet you. Uh, I, I would love it. Have you seen the video of him recording his Groot lines? No. He's wearing like stilts to get in the character of Groot, the mm. tree that only says, I am Groot. That's how dedicated this man is. I love Vin Diesel. Oh, she really got a thing for I him. really do. Oh, I've seen him. I've seen everything. I just, oh, look at him. He's so friendly. <laughs> Don't you want to like hug that man? He's like, come on, I'll keep you safe. <laughs> I love him. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.